Hi everybody, I just want to make a quick video clearing up some confusion. So after my last Cycraft episode, there was some discussion if furnaces on top of hoppers are beneficial for lag. So in order to test this, I'm using Nemon's carpet mod. It allows me to speed up the game and run it basically as fast as is possible. So we're using a complete empty world on a server, so yeah, rendering uh, doesn't influence the results. So this was one hour of gameplay condensed to a few seconds. The game ran at 16,252 TPS, so about 800 times faster. So next I'll put in a layer of hoppers. Here we have six by six chunks filled with one layer of hoppers or 9,216 hoppers in total. And again, I'll try to run the game as fast as possible. I'll do a tick warp for one Minecraft day or 24,000 game ticks, which be if the game runs at 20 TPS, it would be 20 minutes. Okay, and already you can see the game here yeah, doesn't run as fast anymore, so we're around 200 TPS now. So I make a little cut. Okay, so the first results are in. So with one layer of hoppers, we manage 207 TPS. So next step is to put a layer of furnaces on top. And do the same test again. So I'll do another tick warp for 20 minutes. So the next results in with the layer of furnaces, we get 193 TPS. So this is 14 TPS less than uh, with no furnaces on top. So it's definitely not beneficial in normal circumstances to put furnaces on top of hoppers. But it's actually useful to put droppers on top. So let's do a quick test and you'll see. All right, so with a layer of droppers on top, we get 280 TPS, that's 73 TPS more than with an air layer on top of the hoppers. So the reason why it's beneficial to have droppers but not uh, having furnaces um, is that furnaces get ticked. So the benefit of droppers uh, comes from the fact that the hoppers check for items above them to be picked up. But if you put a container block on top, this check doesn't need to be done because there's nothing to be picked up. The same benefit also applies to furnaces, but furnaces get ticked themselves like the hoppers. And that's why uh, the benefit of having a container block above a hopper is completely yeah, eaten up by the, by the fact that the uh, furnaces get ticked themselves. The dropper doesn't get ticked, it's basically like a stone block. There's actually one case in which having furnaces on top of hoppers is beneficial, but having droppers on top of them would be even more beneficial. It's when you have an item in the same subchunk where the dropper is. So the subchunks are here marked by those blue boundary lines, so 16 by 16 by 16 volume of blocks. And if you have an item in the same subchunk, then uh, the hoppers will check for those for those items. Okay, now we do the same test. This time I'll just put it in a layer of glass. So the yeah, item doesn't get sucked up by the hoppers. And we do a tick warp again, 24,000 ticks. All right, so with the extra items, we got 175 TPS. Now we'll do the same test again with the layer of furnaces. Those items, by the way, uh, never despawn. All right, so this time we got 191 TPS with the furnaces. So it's a little bit better. Uh, than without, but only if there are items present in the same subchunk. Just yeah, to complete the testings, uh, we do the same test with the droppers again and the items. Okay, so this time we got 252 TPS with droppers on top and items. So here I also start making a little overview. So hopper only 207, furnaces on top 193 plus droppers. So instead of the furnaces having droppers 280. And if items are present, then the hoppers are down to 175. The furnace is a little bit beneficial. And the last result, we have droppers as well. Then we have 253. All right, hope this helps. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.